Hi, welcome to Math Boost Camp. In this lesson, we're going to learn to use scientific notation to write large numbers. Before we dive into scientific notation, let's revisit a simple technique for multiplying by powers of 10. When you multiply by 10, 100, or 1000, you move the decimal point by the same number as there are zeros in the power of 10. When you multiply 2.75 by 10, move the decimal point one place to the right because 10 has one zero. This gives you 27.5. To multiply by 100, move the decimal point two places to the right, resulting in 275. For multiplication by 1000, move the decimal point three places. If there are no more digits to shift the decimal point, add an extra zero to fill the space. You get 2750. Let's practice with these examples. First, 74.3 times 1,000. Since 1,000 has three zeros, move the decimal point three places to the right. One, two, three. To fill the two empty places, add zeros. You get 74,300. Next, 10,000 has four zeros. Move the decimal point four places to the right. If the other factor is a whole number without a decimal point, you place the decimal point at the end of the number. Move four places. One, two, three, four. Fill these spaces with zeros. The answer is 150,000. Now, scientific notation is a shorthand method that can be used to write large numbers. It's called scientific notation because it's commonly used in science like physics and astronomy to represent very large numbers. This helps maintain precision in calculations and measurements. A number written in scientific notation is represented by two factors. The first factor is a number greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. And the second factor is a power of 10, indicated by an exponent that determines how many spaces the decimal point should be moved. Here's an example. Write the distance to the sun 93 million miles in scientific notation. Remember the first factor has to be less than 10. Where should we place a decimal point? If you place it after the 3, the number wouldn't be less than 10. If you place it before the 9, it wouldn't be greater than or equal to 1. So the only place that works is between 9 and 3, making a 9.3. So we've got the first factor, and now the second factor is the power of 10. How many spaces do you have to move the decimal point to move back to its original position? Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 spaces. So 7 is going to be the exponent, and this is in scientific notation. Therefore, the number 93 million written in scientific notation is 9.3 times 10 to the power of 7. Let's try another one. Jupiter is at a distance of 778,600,000 kilometers from the Sun. Write this number in scientific notation. First, we need to place a decimal point to make this number between 1 and 10. Place it between the two sevens. Write the first factor, which is 7.786. The second factor is a power of 10. Let's find out how many spaces we have to move the decimal point to go back to its original position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 spaces. Therefore, in scientific notation, the Jupiter is at a distance of 7.786 times 10 to the power of 8 kilometers. You can write a large number written in scientific notation back in standard form. Look at the power of 10 and move the decimal point that number of places to the right. The power of 10 is 4, so move the decimal point 4 places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. If there's no more digit, add zeros. You get 62,100. Write 5.729 times 10 to the power of 6 in standard form. The exponent is 6, so move the decimal point 6 places to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Fill in empty spaces with zeros. Remember to place commas after every three digits from the right you get 5,729,000. Now you're ready to practice these skills independently and boost your confidence. Please check the description below to download the worksheet on this topic, along with the answer key. See you in the next lesson.